There's a lot going on this turn. So, huge barbarian battle I gotta deal with here. This guy is gonna level up. I want to destroy that to be allies with Jerusalem, but I actually do want to heal a little bit first. I'll move one square. Don't see anything. Heal. That settler I gotta protect. This guy's just gonna finish his farm, which offsets the farm that I temporarily lost. This guy I don't want to die, so I'm actually gonna have him move into the territory. This guy... Can I? Ooh. Yes! Definitely gonna return it. Natural Wonder Discovery. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so look, Ur's my ally. And because I drop at a low rate since I'm Greece, they're gonna be my ally for the rest of the game, effectively. Which means, let's see, maritime, so I'll get a bunch of food. Not a ton of food, but that's good. I get silk, I get some horses. Not too shabby. And that means they declared war on Scott, and he'll get that notification, so he'll be afraid of that. Found all the natural wonders. Ooh, I'd like to work that, but probably not viable. So I was going to settle this guy in the middle here, but there are better spots over here. I'm going to settle here next to deny Scott. I hope he doesn't come up and over. If he does, I'll have to fight him early. This guy, I've seen all this land. I know there's no barbarians nearby, so I can sort of sneak this guy up. So where am I going to settle? I want that citrus. And I want those truffles to make this a really worthwhile city. So one, two, three. Actually, right here might be good. Here or here? I go here. I'm three away from that. And I'm also three away from that, so it'll be a little while. But, I'll be, eh, no, it's too close to my other city. I can't. It'll have to be here. That's not the worst place to put a city. Because I'll get that iron. I'll get this stuff. I should be able to encroach on Ur pretty quick. Because I imagine Ur is prioritizing this thing. You heal. Let's see what else is going on. Yeah. After this guy heals, I'll destroy that and then move this way. Nice. I'll be able to deal with this relatively quickly. I hope. Might get some pillaging going on. I'll have to fix that. And as soon as I get horses, I gotta build a companion cavalry or two and then really start harassing Scott. Because he's pushed science way harder than me. So I'm gonna get two, then three cities, and I'm gonna push military and harass him. And hopefully that'll prevent him from doing anything with that science. Alright, so here we are around turn 38 of this game between me and Rim. I am. The name of this Civ. <laughs> I don't remember the name of my Civ. Uh, um, ah, Songhai. I'm Songhai. Greece. The main benefit I get is from being um, uh, Songhai is that when I kill a Barbario camp, then I get a huge pile of money. Right, so I can actually go into negative money. Right now I'm at zero money. I can go into negative money and make up for it by killing Barbarios. Right? Let's kill that melee Barbario who's a threat to our ranged... Uh, make sure the Spearman survives. Yeah, see the last time... Rim played a... He loves this kind of map, I guess. Ah! Hey! Uh, and last time he beat me with his trireme power, so I built the trireme pretty early this time. Uh, especially because I plan to defend these pearls and fish here. Uh, and you can see I'm building a chariot archer, right? I'm going more military. I've realized that in a, um, this dual game, military matters a lot, right? It matters a ton, so. Uh, anyway. So what's happened so far? Rim apparently made allies with the city-state of Ur, which is why they've declared war on me. I mean, when you're in a duel, you pretty much declare war on each other immediately, and that's it, right? There's no, there's no peace time. <laughs> um, this is Jerusalem. They want me to get rid of that barbarian. And oh, there's Rim, his hoplite. He's I get to go after that barbarian. He has like a super spearman, which is a hoplite. So I just need to survive past. I just need to get to Pikeman, pretty much. 
and then um, Grim's military advantage will go away. My special military unit. Oh, it's it's a cavalry that replaces knights. Uh, okay. There it is, cavalries. So, in that in this period of the game, is I'm gonna have to survive, you know, this long, and then I can make my move with some cavalries. I also need to get these um, wood pyramid mosques. Requires no maintenance, so I can just build a bunch of these, no problem, right? Not have to pay for them. Uh, Rims, I guess, a little bit ahead on score right now. Oh, we can use this to check out what he's got going on. I got more gold than he does by a little bit. He's losing gold every turn. He has copper, though. I only have one horse, really? I have horses right here. This is only providing one horse. No, it's providing two horses. My other horse. Did it cost me a horse to make this caravan? Oh, I only have one spare horse to trick. No. That makes no sense. I don't even know. All right, anyway. Yeah, I got a caravan going over here. Uh, that was the other problem I had in the last game. Was like he, he locked me out with his military, so I couldn't caravan. So now I'm caravanning earlier, and I was trying to defend it with the spearman, but he needs healing. So, uh, But I did a lot of good. This is why Lhasa liked me, at least until this turn, because I killed so many barbarians over here coming from this camp. But I wasn't actually able to make it over to this camp to finish it off. Uh, maybe I'll try again. Right now, this camp is the real threat. I need to do something about it. This spearman, I'm not, this bowman, I'm not worried about. I mostly need. Anyway, uh, scout, you can. <laughs> worker, is there anything for this worker to do? I'm waiting for this so I can get this iron. Finally, I'm gonna get some freaking iron. Um. Yeah, see, I really need a work boat. Right, I don't need a worker to do any work. You can just sort of wait. Go into the city where it's safe and wait for work. Not a lot going on this turn. Mostly bringing my guys back to heal before we go out and do stuff again. Did meet Jerusalem though, which is good. Choosing a science, so this is a tough choice. Marshes and quarries, I don't really care. Optics could be really helpful. Start going for hanging gardens, like, bam. Yep, calendar it is. That way I know that whenever I expand into that territory, which is after the iron, thankfully, but I'll be I'll be good to, to work the sugar. I happiness up. It's only two here. I know my population's going to grow in six turns, right? Population grows in six turns. I'll have calendar in four turns. The worker will already be working on the... Not bad. I have 12 faith because they were friends with me and they're a religious city-state, uh, but they're not friends anymore, so I'm not... Prague, I want them to make friends with me, but they're not giving me any quests. No quests from you. I don't have enough money to pay you off either. That's not happening. But what's going on here? Maybe this trireme hopefully will be able to pester Rim if he doesn't have any too many range. Also, I can explore a lot of the map. If I find a natural wonder, I believe that Lhasa wants to discover a natural wonder. Maybe my trireme can fulfill that quest, uh, because I, my, my units right now are all beat up. I, mean, I can't let them die, right? so I can't go exploring to try to find one. So, as soon as the chariot archer is done, though, that will be good times, and I can send the scout out to go scouting. Uh, the man can heal, and the chariot, right? It'll be good. Push the next button.